Hello YouTube, welcome back. Today, I have a skid steer with the truck, and I figured, you know what, before I go take this thing back, we might as well do a tow review of something heavy, because I did something that was like 2,000 pounds, which wasn't really like a, I mean, it was a tow review, but 2,000 pounds just bounces behind this truck, or any vehicle for that matter, so. In this case, now we have a skid steer, so I have no idea how much this thing weighs. I'm just gonna go ahead and say probably about like 4,000 pounds, maybe maybe less. I would say trailer and all, we're probably looking at 5,000 pounds. I will look up this trailer and this uh, make and model, but there's a make for you. There's a model and I'll figure out, I should say over here on the tongue how much this weighs or how much the trailer weighs, but let's go do a tow review on this and we'll get fuel economy and figure out how shitty the fuel economy is we have been towing this for what is this 50 miles and i'm at 10 as the average so i am towing this on tow haul i don't really like the way it drives in tow haul it seems like it holds a gear way too long but that's just how i've always driven when towing so we'll see how it goes maybe i should just get on the highway and we'll take it out of tow haul and see if it even makes a difference so i think that's what we're going to do we're going to take it out of tow haul we'll put it in normal mode and we'll do let's just say like a little mm, i don't know it'll probably be like 20 mile stretch and we'll just see what the truck says average between Excuse me. Wow, allergies suck. Anyway, we'll do the average uh, for that 15 or 20 mile trip and we'll see what it is. So let's go hop on the freeway because nobody cares about what the fuel economy is in the city because if they did, they'd be at like three miles to the gallon. So let's go hop on the highway. We are on the freeway. We are, I should probably put this in cruise control probably get the best let's put this sixty five come on all right sixty five cruise control let's go ahead and reset boom all right so we'll go ahead and tow up here I do kind of like the way it tows in normal mode not in tow haul for those of you who don't know you got the little button right here on the end and you push it you get your drive modes and it's currently in normal but like I said before I did do this drive in tow haul and the average on the highway and part of the city was 10 um, I guess we'll go ahead and We'll uh, complete this drive. I won't bore you with this, but we'll complete this drive, tell you how far it is, and we'll see where we're at. Right now, going uphill a little bit, we're at 10.8, 10.5. So, stand by, and we'll see where it's at, and I'll let you know how it tows. All right, we got off the highway. We did 10.7 miles, and we got 12.4 miles to the gallon like i said i like doing it in normal mode instead of tow haul i found in tow haul it kind of tends to leave it in in ninth right it never really shifts into tenth if i have it in normal mode it'll shift into tenth and i, I just feel like it shifts better because it's not holding gears as long uh the only time that I kind of liked tow haul is like getting off the freeway, slap it in tow haul because then it engine brakes for you and you're not using your brakes as much. But to each his own with that one. But we got 12.4. That's all highway miles. Uh, that might be a little bit exaggerated just because we coasted getting off the freeway. So let's just call it 12. But as far as handling goes, considering this truck has 37 inch tires and it's leveled on Carly suspension. Uh, it's Fox 2.0's. It still handles, surprisingly, really well. It handles better towing 
than it does without a trailer on the back. I do have the stock leaf springs in the back. I just haven't put on the Carly Adipacks, but it does have the stock leaf springs, which are the leaf springs off the uh, uh, F350, just because this uh, has the max tow package or whatever, so it doesn't have the standard F250 leafs. But with a trailer, this thing handles so much better, especially on the highway where typically there's a lot of bumpy spots without a trailer and it's like nauseating to drive on. With a trailer, you don't feel those bumps. So, you know, overall, I'm pleased. 12 miles to the gallon on the freeway, tow in, I don't know, whatever this tractor is, 5,000 pounds. I'll look it up and I'll put it on the screen for you guys. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, like always, like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Let me know if you have questions. Thank you.